Once you've been making videos long enough, you acquire a certain amount of gear. I'm going to show you how to conquer camera chaos so you can organize your gear, protect it better, find it faster, and ultimately make more films. I have a whole bunch of tips for gear organization, but my space is so messy right now, I actually need to clean it up before I can make a video about cleaning up. So let's get my camera rig back together and we'll talk about how you can best organize your camera gear. Things often get out of hand when I'm in the middle of a project or multiple projects. Thing is, I cleaned up my space, but I've never truly organized it, so only half the time do I actually know where to find anything. So we're gonna fix that, go through everything, organize it, clean up this mess, and put everything in a well-labeled, well-thought-out home so that I can find what I need when I need it. Oh, I'm looking for that. Your organization is as much about where you're putting things as it is about what you're putting there to begin with. So first you need to decide where your gear is going to live. What space do you have available to you and what sorts of things can you put it in? Whether you're using shelves or underbed storage or a closet, something out in the open, something hidden. And then of course, what you're putting in that space. Are you using some sort of storage tote are you using small bins? Are you using hardware bins? There's all sorts of ways to organize things and it's up to you to decide what's gonna work best for you based on what your budget is or what you already have on hand. I settled on the wire shelves that I'm using because they're sturdy, inexpensive, and adjustable. Now I like the look of them as well, but one downside is that it can be hard to place smaller things on them because there's large gaps. And no matter what you come up with, some things may need to live somewhere else based on their size or how often you use them. For example, my heavy duty tripod and microphone stand don't really have a place to live in my current organization. So I keep them in a big barrel with all the other tall things I have, like my rolls of lighting gels and diffusion. And while my production cart does fold down to be much smaller, it's not gonna fit with all of this organization, so I just keep it in my closet. Once you've decided where to organize your gear, you need to decide how to organize it. So for the best results, you wanna use the same size of bin or similar sized ones that work well together. I chose these plastic bins because they have different sizes and they're really inexpensive. And by having something that's transparent, I can see into it and know that if what I'm looking for is actually in there or not. Keep what you use most often close at hand or make it very accessible in whatever storage space you're using. Like I mentioned earlier, some things may need to be kept elsewhere because of size, but at least make sure that they're accessible when they're needed. Keep a camera bag handy and ready to go if you do a lot of run and gun work, might need to go do something at a moment's notice, vlog, etc. Because I use it regularly, my laptop lives on my desk. It doesn't go inside of something unless I need to take it somewhere or I need to move it out of the way so I can use the whole desk for a project. Ideally, you shouldn't have to move anything to access something else. Though depending on your space, you might need to do this in order to maximize the storage that you get out of it. Now, even though I've done it this way, shelving is better arranged with things not stacked on top of one another. If this isn't possible, then stack things on top of one another that might be likely to be used together or put the lesser used items on the bottom so you're not inconvenienced as often. Label everything. This is the key to being able to find things later because you're not going to remember where you put everything. Organize your stuff in a way that makes sense to you. Just make sure that it's something that does make some sort of sense. Don't just throw everything into bins and call it good. Now if you're not the only one accessing the gear then you might need to put some thought into it about how you're going to organize it so that it doesn't just make sense to you but it will make sense to other people as well. Now when you're first organizing things probably the best way to temporarily label things until you get it all dialed in is just to use post-it notes. That way you can write things down, cross them out, and change your mind as much as you want before you commit to some actual nice labels that you put on everything. Now once you get this all dialed in, leave the post-it notes in place for a while because as you start to use things and put them away, you might actually discover that what you thought was great at first doesn't work as well as you thought it did, or you might find a better way to do things that didn't even occur to you while you were putting things away in the first place. At least label it with the general type of item. 
You can be as specific as you want. If you want to list every single thing that's in a bin, you can certainly do that. But depending on how much you have in there, that might just be a little too much. In addition to the type of things you're keeping in the bin, you might want to specifically call out more prominent items or things that you're frequently using so that you can know where they are when you need them. Now for specific gear items, make sure you're labeling them with your name and a way to contact you because if you lose something while you're out and about, you wanna make sure that if an honest person finds it, they're able to get it back to you. Color code specific gear, things that are used together or similar types of items could be done in the same color. This could be done with labels or cable ties or the actual color of the bins you use. Well, I don't think it's necessary to put your name and phone number on every single cable that you own. I used to wrap a little bit of tape around them so that when I used them out and about, they wouldn't get mixed up with anybody else's cables. As best you can, keep one type of thing per box or compartment. Keep things that are used together, together. Whether they're all in the same bin or several bins next to each other, you'll make things easier for yourself if you keep things that you use together in the same place so that you don't have to pull down multiple bins or go to different locations when you need to get similar items. I keep all my AV cables and all my analog stuff together in this one bin, even though it's just about overflowing. I'll be using this one a lot in the near future, so I keep it on the top and on the outer edge so I can get to it the quickest. If you want to see what I'm up to with all this analog equipment, make sure you subscribe to keep in the loop. And of course, when you use something, put it back where it belongs. You know, as they say, a place for everything and everything in its place. By putting it away when you're done with it, you won't have to do this cleaning up process over and over and over because things will just stay clean. It's something I constantly struggle with as I move from project to project. I don't always put things back where I found them or I just leave them scattered about because I was kind of halfway through something. By putting them back, you'll always know where to find them and they'll be better protected by keeping them inside of something. Now for this to be really effective, you need to organize everything. If you don't organize everything, you're going to find yourself constantly starting over with this process. In fact, I'm still kind of halfway through my organization efforts because I have some stuff for some upcoming projects that doesn't have a home yet and some other stuff that I probably need to go through and get rid of things so that I can free up space to be able to actually have a place for everything rather than keeping it on the floor where it's just in the way. And while it's ideal to have everything perfectly labeled and categorized, it's okay to have a miscellaneous bin or two because there's always gonna be all sorts of little things that you just don't know what to do with. And miscellaneous is the perfect solution for that. Whatever works for you one day may not work for you in the future. So evaluate your gear needs and storage regularly. I don't know about you, but I tend to just buy gear and don't get rid of it nearly often enough, partly because it's just such a headache to get rid of things. So make sure you're regularly reviewing the needs of the gear that you do have and getting rid of things that you don't need. An often overlooked key to organizational success is to get rid of things that you don't use or no longer need. Unless you're replacing something that's broken that you just get rid of. When you get something new, get rid of something old. Now, when you're first starting out, you might not need to do this because you're acquiring gear that you just don't have anything of yet. Once you get to a certain point, there's going to be gear that you just don't use as much anymore. And if you don't need it, then consider selling it or giving it away to a new creator who doesn't have as much. If you have the space, keeping the original box is really good for when you go to get rid of the gear, especially if you're gonna be selling it and shipping it somewhere. Something else really important to think about as you organize your gear is safety. Not just the protection of your gear itself, but also how you organize it in a way that reduces the chances of anything happening to you as a result. Anchor shelving to the wall. You don't want it tipping over and at best breaking all your expensive gear or worse, actually injuring you or someone. Store batteries and electronics safely. Keep them in appropriate cases or containers. Keep heavier items on lower shelves. Use a step stool if needed to reach items that are higher up. For things that are on higher shelves, make sure they have a lid on them so that if something happens when you're pulling it down, it doesn't fall out and get broken or hurt someone. Something else to consider depending on the items you're storing and the environment you live in is using silica gel to absorb any excess moisture to help protect your gear as well. 
And of course, rearrange things or change your mind as needed. Whatever you come up with is not set in stone, so make it work for you. Even if you manage to stay organized, losing gear is something that sometimes happens. And one thing you may find yourself losing accidentally is a lens cap. There are many things you can do until you're able to replace it, which you can learn about in this video.